Welcome everyone to my Twitch stream, International Master William Pascal. And we're going to start a new simul here on Lee Chess, which we do every Sunday. So we're going to go with. Welcome everyone to my Twitch stream. We're going to go with 40 minutes plus 20. 40 minutes plus 20 seconds. Um, now 40 minutes plus 30. Plus an extra 10 minutes, I think, which should just about do it. And we will create, we'll play, we'll play mixed random colors. Um, hey everybody, we're going to start now. Yeah, I'm creating the simul. So 40 minutes with 30 seconds and uh, extra 10 minutes for me for streaming and simul purposes. Everybody hope this, the uh, sound is good. Um, been having some technical problems every once in a while with um, we got five, six, seven, eight players so far. And welcome everybody. I think we're gonna cut it off at 25 players. Beyond that it's uh, it's too hard to play. So I've added more time. It's 40 minutes with 30 seconds and an extra 10 minutes for me. Maximum of 25 players. I will start um, in about 10 minutes at 6 o'clock. And welcome everybody. Shevin again, you're giving me a hard time. Uh, even in Blitz now. So in the Simul, I can't imagine what's going to happen. Let's see. Um, Okay, we got 10 players. Damien P2. If that was the guy, the Damien I played last week. Mac and Cheese, Shevening, and Adrian Chess now. Lambda, Piles, of Anui. Most Move 11, who I know, don't read this. Damien P2. Werenfeld, thank you for joining. Werenfeld, welcome. Killer. Um, don't read this. Don't read this. Are you in the list? Yes. Okay. So, um, I think, you know, 25 players or 6 o'clock, whichever comes first. And Grinch, Grinch11, who's giving me some tough Blitz games. Pomkov. So we've got 12 players. We're already like halfway there. Um, let me move this. Uh, actually, um, I was going to move my my webcam here, probably. Um, move the webcam down here. So you guys can see. Um, you guys can see the time control basically 40 30 with um, extra 10 minutes last time I did 30 30 with five minutes and now I'm gonna start I'm gonna start in like five minutes I guess five minutes guys I don't want to wait too long so if we get to close to 20 players physicist atomics um, yeah, physicist atomics we've got now 13 players I want to start um, um, I want to start with whichever um, comes first 20 players or 6 p.m. Uh, CET I don't know um, want to give people a few minutes to arrive here. I said 5.45. Make sure we get enough time. I have to leave by 8 or so. Central European time. Saibot. Saibot. Saibot in Hungarian. King Kong Hari. So we're getting there, guys. We need like four more players. Um, I can do up to 25. I feel more comfortable with 20. Last time I was kind of overloaded. With 26. Um, let yourself add more time than last week. I did, guys. I made it 40 30, which is an extra 10 minutes for everyone and an extra 10 minutes for me, an extra 5 minutes for me. But I'm going to limit the amount of players because last time it was like 28 players, and um, we're going we're gonna to make it a limit of. Um, yeah, exactly. Well, no, not 6 o'clock. E. I'm sorry. I'm so used to me using American time. Um, 
It would be 1800. <laughs> 6 o'clock p.m. Anyway, um, I can't get used to the 24-hour time. That's so common in Europe after living here for forever. Um, we got Potser 8000. So welcome to my simul here on leechess.org. Weinfeld said he studied four hours yesterday for this. Uh-oh, people are preparing for me in, in the Blitz games in the morning, too. Which is um, GMT plus 3.3. .3. So it would be 2.3. Um, you're, you're two and a half hours ahead of me. So it would be... We're going to start in seven minutes, physicist Adam. Um, seven minutes or three players, whichever comes first. So I'll take as many as 25 if they get here in the next five minutes or so. So guys, um, not as much time to commentate as in my morning um, blitz and classic kind of live stream, but I will I will try to um, I will try to commentate as much as I can on the games at hand. So we'll try for at least 20, 20 players. Um, between 20 and 25 is ideal, I think. Link to the game. Um, we got a couple more. Mickey G and Azuaga. My coffee's on the way. And I'm going to be getting that in a minute. And we're going to be ready to start. Um, one more player. So we've got 19 now. We're almost there. Sheveninga and said, I don't understand what Cybot meant by a link to the game. Cybot, are you in my list? Cybot, um, yes, you are. I just need to make one more account. <laughs> How many do you have out there already? You can make your own personal simul against me. Um, guys, I had really um, tough result yesterday, or two days ago, playing uh, Rapid Chess. I was the top seed. In, in a small rapid tournament and I only finished second. Um, I lost two games, both to much lower rated players. So I still have a Sheik in the rust off, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Um, only only lost one, one really ugly game in the opening. Maybe it wasn't that bad. 23-34 rating is powerful. Um, I don't know. There's not that many players going around with, with ratings. Mac and Cheese is 2306. Hope that's provisional. Mac and Cheese. One of my opponents is rated 2306. Actually, Svevningen is 2301. So, um, I will start with 19 players if, if five minutes goes by. How do you get better at chess? Uh, chess BS says you're going down. I'm going to get a coffee. I'll be right here. automated coffee bot it's like I have an automated coffee bot it's kind of like kind of like a Roomba for coffee um, we um, it's like the Jetsons we have 20 now so I just want to give people a couple more minutes I'm not gonna I'm gonna wait like two more minutes before I start we've got 20 players but um, I did change the simul time relatively recently from 6 Central European time to 5.45 so that we could have time to get ready. Um, I'm going to wait another minute or two. We've got 20 players. Take drugs. Um, yeah, the drugs never really helped too much. Maybe I just didn't do enough. Um, that could be the problem. 23.34 rating, I don't really know guys. Is that powerful? Um, you know, sometimes I think I'm terrible, and sometimes I think I'm really good, and I don't really know. Um, is it okay to watch stream and play? Absolutely. Uh, just, um, the only thing I would ask is that nobody, like, suggests moves for me. So Instagram is here. It's good. We waited. Um, I'm going to give them two minutes till the top of the hour, or I'm going to close it at 25 players. We're at 21 now. And I've got 558. 
You have enough accounts to play a simo with myself. <laughs> Is that how you get all your rating points? Um, I have seen some discussion about like closed rating pool tournaments. Maybe setting those up on on Lee Chess, and I, I would like that idea. The only problem with the rating, you know, the rating system here is that people could could collude to to dump rating points to each other, and having multiple accounts would be a good way to do that. So, um, yeah, Shevening feels he's he's calculating slower. Um. Dragon Phoenix Slayer, how to stop sucking at chess? Like me. Um, okay, Blaze Fruits. Guys, I've got 22 now. I'll take up to three more in the next minute and a half, basically. Thanks for those of you who arrived on time at 545. And um, I'll have to make it like more clear that the... Basically, I'm waiting... Yeah, I'm waiting until just before 6 o'clock to start the simul. But um, the earlier the better. Mickey G. Welcome everybody. I think only half of the players played in my previous simul. Last week I really got hammered on the clock. Now I've got 10 extra minutes and I got 10 extra minutes overall. You guys are not using your time enough, um, so. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cry if I lose on time. Um, I've given myself enough time now. I'm pretty sure. If anybody here plays on the Internet Chess Club as well, I'm also going to do a simul over there at 8 o'clock, which will not be streamed at this time. But, um... Labusha. You might be the last one. 30 seconds I'm going to start. And I wish everybody good luck. Grinch11 has been challenging me during the week to some offhand games. Abuda. Abuda, you... You could be the last one. Now, how many do I have? 23? Someone must have dropped out when I wasn't looking. Um, beyond MN. Somebody must have, have dropped out when I wasn't looking. Okay, that's it, guys. Constantine, Alex, you're the last one. We're starting. 25 players. So, good luck, everybody. I'm going to mix it up with... Um, I know the traditional simuls, the simul giver is always white, but I'm going to mix it up with the colors because honestly it gets boring playing with white on every board. And I think I like playing black, honestly. I mean, I may be very much in the minority um, liking black, but black is kind of fun. I just played d5 against Mac and Cheese, who is very high rated. So Scandinavian is going to be tough against him. Okay. Damian P2 says good luck all. I agree. Good luck all. Hopefully we have enough time to play a good game. I'm not going to, you know, sweat too much. I've got a lot of time. The extra 10 minutes. But I've got to move fast and not get in time pressure. Um, thinking too much is not good for my health. i got a lot of E4s. Everybody's playing E4 against me. Wow. So, so far on Lee Chess, I've noticed that Perhaps not quite as theoretical. The average player is not quite as theoretical in the opening as on another like site that sells chess DVDs like um, <laughs> Play Chess or something, the ICC. Um, the players seem a little bit less theoretical, but um, there's certain openings that seem very popular here like uh, the Dutch Stone Wall and um, the Queen's Gambit Declined. Not really theoretical openings. Yeah, I'm trying to mix it up, guys. Adrian Chess now. Warenfeld, welcome to the stream. Trying to play a little bit of everything. Played E4 against Shevening, and that should be interesting. All right. Just getting out the uh, cramps in my neck here. 25 games. I'm going to cut it off at 25. Really, you need like an hour more simul for more than that. I was in big trouble last week with like 28 players and 30 minutes. Um, don't read this. Plays an unusual response to C4, D5 there. Mickey G, I'm playing an open Sicilian or some kind of Sicilian. I haven't really decided yet. Abud, I'm playing another Karo Khan. A couple Karo Khans um, against Lambda, a kind of old Indian, possible King's Indian. 
trying to mix up my openings. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the stream. But I don't, I don't have quite as much time as I might in uh, in the weekly, like Blitz. Instagram, what are we doing here? Um, Knight f3, d6. It's not a bad move order for black. Cybot. It's like a Hungarian cyberbot. Um, Mac and Cheese played e takes d in the Scandinavian. So we've got a couple strong master rated players in the simul um, with Shevininga and, and, and Mac and Cheese. Pomkov playing Knight f3 against d6. And. My first time, but he last. So you la you watched last week, Grinch. Now you can't resist. Um, okay, the Dutch has been played. Hopefully, we don't get in vicious time pressure. We got time to to drink some coffee. David Kwan, twelve opening with the most potential and options. Well, I mean, that depends on. Uh, Depends on whether you're white or black, I guess. With black, I like kind of hyper modern things. Keep the pawn flex, uh, pawn structure flexible. What am I going to do against Mickey G? I don't know what he's up to there. Let's play knight c3. See what's up. Um, queen takes d5. This d5 against the English, I can't really recommend for black. We've got another English there. I'll take my time. Um, yeah, guys, use the time because it's, you know, I'm the one that has to move fast. You don't have to move fast because I'm moving fast. Because this is a clock simul. Um, what am I doing here? Because this is a clock simul, I basically have to move instantly. But you guys don't have to move instantly. So take your time. And it makes things a little easier for me. Not getting into, like, vicious time pressure against everybody. Um, Wernfeld playing the Benoni or Benko there. Got another d5 with no e6 or c6. And Grinch 11. Grinch is pretty tough too. Lavusha. Thanks to those of you who are playing against me for the first time or who I don't know from my weekday um, blitz sessions here. Those of you who don't know, I play. Um, here's an accelerated dragon against King Kong Hari, who's pretty reasonable too. What did I do? Oh, this is the Scandinavian. I thought I like, played d5 against d4 c4 um yeah good to remember when i'm playing so guys on the weekdays between 10 and 12 30 a.m central european time um i am playing here on Chess as well most often streaming live on twitch so bishop c4 uh-huh Knight takes e4 is probably the best move there. And we've got a weird opening on one game. Mattered Monkey, uh, what's up? The music down. And Gesutz, Abuta Dimiati, Dumiati. Um, okay, what am I doing here in the Karo Khan? Trying to play Bishop g4 against Blaze Fruits. Let's hope I don't get in really bad time pressure today. I think it's just enough time. I should have just enough time. Um, Pomkov. I don't want to transpose to a Sicilian. I played the Peerts. Let's play a Peerts. Mac and Cheese going to a kind of mainline Scandinavian with Knight F6 there. And we've got an anti-Dutch. And I am ahead in time because I have an extra 10 minutes, guys, which I need to to play all these boards and commentate. And now, um, I guess I can play d5, although that would allow queen h5. So I can play knight d6 as well. I'm trying to remember the theory on this. Um, why not d5 here? Knight takes, king takes, queen h5 check. Yeah, I think that's okay for me. This isn't a trap, is it? Okay, uh, interesting. So move 11 follows a game I had played earlier. Which is weird. Okay, King's Indian. Not too many of those. I don't have any Nimzos or Bogo Indians somehow. Um, which is kind of weird. I've got a Queen's Gambit accepted. Has anybody ever noticed that following a 
pretty major slump, you have a pretty major breakthrough. Hmm. I guess there's a statistical, pretty good statistical chance of that. Um, otherwise, the slump just never ends. All right, like this is a Peart's reversed. We could also play c4 there. Adrian Chess now giving me a pawn in the English. Instagram, playing modern defense move order. And I'm playing white against, speaking of I don't have any queens, actually I don't have any games where I'm black in, not very many games where I'm black. Um, I'm not going to play bishop g4 here, guys. I'm going to play g6. Okay, so we've got a Nidorf on one board. I'm going to play the Sozin because that's kind of the system that I know the best against the Nidorf. Last week I got, not last week, maybe it wasn't in the Simul somewhere. Uh, maybe it was in the Simul. I got in trouble in one game where I tried to play the white side of the Nidorf in... Um, I tried to play the white side of the g3 Nidorf, and the problem with that is that I'm very familiar with the e6 structures, but when black plays like e5, uh, I just don't know the theory well enough. So I'm going to stay away from lines that I don't really know. Uh, for the benefit of everyone, for the benefit of myself, for the benefit of everyone else trying to get a good game, I'm going to try to stay with stuff I really know. Um, okay, here, e6, this is kind of the classical move. I think I can play knight f6 there as well. Killer 3, 2. Just going to retreat my knight. I can also play bishop d6, I suppose, here. Hmm. Yeah, maybe bishop d6 is more active. Try to take as much as you guys will give me. Bishop e3, interesting. Pots are 8,000 and a Peartz. Probably going to get transposed into that in some other line I don't play. Um, we got a yeah new new thing I'm trying basically guys. The Peartz is the opening that I'm working on now for Black. Something different against e4. But it's really just just a product product project in its infancy. Okay. Sheveninga, and that's you. Oh, I'm playing Sheveninga, great in a in a Sozin. That's cool. So Shevening and Mac and Cheese, my two highest rated opponents. And now beyond MN, we put a very unorthodox opening. And I've got an ending and a kind of old Indian against Lambda 7-3, which is actually very well known. Um, not really too dangerous for black. One pretty standard Queen's Gambit. And uh, we've got to move quickly, though. Cybot reversed Peartz. Here, um, Blazed Fruits, playing a kind of unusual move order against me. Hold your horses tight. Damn, this dude is old. Damn, I'm old, man. Um, where are you from? Dude, I'm from beyond the grave. You have, a, you have the name, hold your horses tight, and you say, I'm old, man. I mean, that saying is like, that's from my dad's generation. Um, D3, hold your horses. I mean, nobody says that since like the 50s or something. Knight F6, what am I going to do? E6, E5. Where am I from? I'm from the United States, man, but I live in Hungary. Madjur Sag. Um, knight takes e4. Bishop takes e4. Sorry. Um, damn, nobody's called me old. on. I don't know what to do. Nobody's called me old on the stream before. But I guess I'll live. I can't ban you for calling me old. Um, I wish I could, but that just wouldn't be morally right. Knight f3. I'll just have to live with it, you know. What's up here? We played bishop g7 kind of early in this... Um, I don't like playing bishop g7 early, but it's actually a king's Indian or something because he didn't play knight c3 yet. Um, like got a good Sozin against Sheveninga. Played bishop, bishop e7 pretty early, committing himself to bishop e7.
No, I'm American. Hold your horses. Not that old. So, e5 against the classical setup in the Pierce. e5 classical, not really supposed to be anything for white there. I should take. And kind of an unusual take there for move 11, guys, in this in this weird miles. Um, Nimzovich defense. I think move 11's best option is, is a, a knight f3 there, but I guess it's anything is playable for white. Um, H6, wow, Grinch 11 going with the, the fully out of book, the fully out of book line. Interesting. Um, here I could play queen a4 check and knight e5. You have queen takes d4 at the end there. So I guess I'll just develop. Dragon Phoenix Slayer. Poor old people, they die too early. Um, yeah, but anyway... That's the worst part. Um, rookie eight. I look old, I look young for my age. Man, you better tell me who you are, your, your horses. I'm gonna beat you extra bad for that, man. Um, here, knight c4, that's a good move. It's interesting. Should I should I save my bishop pair? Or should I go out of my way to gain time and development? Kind of a tough call there. Bishop e7, bishop c5. Should I like play bishop c5? Knight c3 is gonna. I'm gonna have problems with my e4 pawn. I guess I just have to suck it up, develop, and and give up my bishop there. Killer three two. All right, guys. Time control forty thirty. And um, extra 10 minutes for me. The 30 is an increment, 30 seconds every move. If you ban someone for calling you old, you're old. You're more than old, man. Um, <laughs> you're just like intolerant. Um, so e4. Oh, I picked up a queen against beyond MN. I'd like to get a few easy wins to kind of keep the time situation under control. I mean, I hate, I mean, I hate to do that, but yeah, it's not a real long time, you know, for a simul. This, this is a fast simul, even with forty minutes, guys. It is actually to those of you who play a lot of bullet, it seems like forever. But as far as simuls go, this is a pretty fast simul. So Instagram with the funky modern. Um, okay, guys, and there's always those guys who sort of hang back and like, um, try to win on time without making any moves. <laughs> there, there were a few of you who almost pulled it off last week. Just, you know, don't move. Maybe I'll win on time before, you know, I even have to move. But this time we're not going to let that happen because I, I did lengthen the time control. Um, all right, I like the way the openings are going for the most part. I have the feeling there's a few games that are kind of stalling out where nobody's moving, but um, that's no problem. Whatever suits you guys. Here, knight c6. I guess bishop g4 could be played as well. And on this one, um, a very unorthodox opening by black. I play bishop g5 here, h6 or something. I can't sack a piece there. Maybe I can do the old e5, knight d5, bishop takes h7, king takes h7, knight g5, check, king h8, king g8, queen h5. Um, two. Yeah, it looks like a kind of standard spot. Okay, Queen's Gambit. So last time, I think the extra 10 minutes I took this week is going to make a difference. I'm playing the white side of a Catalan against Damien there, which I'm a little worried about because I don't play a lot of Catalans with white. Mostly, 
I avoid playing like pure Catalan positions. Now g4 by killer 3-2 is a really unorthodox move. Bishop g7. What opening do you find the most interesting or most fun? Well, it always changes, you know. Um, here, f5, going for the... This position is interesting. Hmm. I can't remember. f5? I'm supposed to play f5 here, I think. This has been a while since I played this line. Okay, so move 11 turns this weird Miles, so-called Nimzovich defense, into... A closed, like, Chigorin type of position. I don't really have much options there. Kind of avoiding mainstream theory. Here it looks like we have the classic sacrifice on h7, guys. And, um, should be pretty strong against Don't Read This. And on this one, this is a line against the anti Dutch. Where black's pretty solid, but a little bit passive. Okay, h6 and, interesting, h6 and knight f6, Grinch 11, what are you doing there? You're playing some weird stuff, man. Hanging out with the English international master Michael Bassman and playing h6 and a6 in all your games. Knight e7. They're discussing drugs in the channel. Here I can win a pawn, guys. Is this a, is this like an intentional sacrifice? Wow. So if I take the pawn, you go knight e5. Then I take on e2. And um, whatever I do there, it looks like you have some pretty good compensation. I'm not going to take the pawn. I'm not materialistic at all. It is possible I'm not materialistic enough. Okay. Bishop d3, Benoni. I've got to keep this moving along. I, I think I'm enjoying the extra time, but uh, I don't want to be, like, too luxurious here. g3, I think the best move in the Four Knights English. Karo Khan, exchange, or Panov. And this is a weird weakening of the king side by white in that double king pawn. The strange, unorthodox double king pawn game. We've got a pawn there, a good Nimzo. Black doesn't have his dark square bishop. We got the peace sacrifice game there. Black is probably lost. And here we're going to play a a6 and b5. And then a sharp game in this against Skevening again now. Where should I put my knight Skevening in a4, e2? a4 touching the b6 square. I could try to sack a... I could actually sack a piece here, but um, I don't think that's really sound. Takes on e6, takes on c3. I don't want to take too much time. Knight e2, e5, and d5, knight e2. Actually, I might have to play knight a4 there so that I don't get hit by queen b6 and knight e4. Um, bishop takes f6, and that ending I don't really like for white. Giving up the dark squared bishop. Guys, I'll try to comment occasionally in the stream, but uh, we really got to keep the games moving along. So I don't want to get in too vicious time pressure. All right. Um, I've got bishop takes h2 check. I don't think that's going to work here. I need to just play this positionally somehow. Knight takes f7, I'm uh, sorry, knight takes d7. Um, okay. I guess in this game, um, Not sure I have enough compensation for that central pawn I just sacrificed. Oh man, I could be in trouble in that one game. It really looks like. Adrian Chess now. What am I doing here? Just gonna develop my pieces. I don't know about f4 as a choice of square there. Maybe that wasn't the best. So I'm in, in trouble in one game, guys, it looks like. 
at the moment. I'm sure there will be more. Reverse Peter Saibot. Okay. Have you ever played chess on weed? I have told some stories about some strange things that happened to me. Yeah, I did try it on a couple of occasions. Um, it's funny. <laughs> it's funny for like informal chess when you're playing blitz with your friends and stuff, but I don't really recommend doing it during tournament games. Um, okay, let's see. Castles, bishop g4. I not condoning any kind of drug use, but... Um, Okay, e5, what is this? A tempo? It's actually a normal Kalashnikov. Nah, it's not a normal Kalashnikov. It's like a delayed Kalashnikov. What is this opening? Um, I don't even know where I'm supposed to put my knight in this position. Normally f3. Okay, a couple of pierces. That's the new opening in progress. And Belize Fruits... Now I can win a pawn. I, I don't know. I win a pawn here. Takes on c3, takes on e4. Try to hold my extra pawn. I'm not going to really be able to keep the pawn, it looks like. But I don't know what else to do. Bishop a5 is interesting. Keeping the pieces on the board. It looks a little provocative, but we'll try it. I need spaces for my other pieces there in that game. That's why bishop a5, not bishop d6, or... Maybe I could have played bishop d6. Bishop d6 would have been okay. Strange setup by Instagram. Uh, we've got that weird double king pong game. And now Mac and Cheese, who's got a very high rating here on Lee Chess 2306, has played d5 in the, Sc in the Scandinavian. I've got one player named Skeveningen and Sheveningen. I don't know how you pronounce it in Polish, guys. Um, and one player who's named Pankov. Anyway, what I was trying to say was I've got one Scandinavian and one player who's named Skeveningen. And it's hard to say those two things at almost the same time. Try to say Scandinavian and Skeveningen over and over again. So, let's see. Where's that game I'm in big trouble in? Don't know. I kind of lost it. I'm supposed to castle queenside in this anti-Dutch game. This is it. So, against Skeveningen, maybe I'm I'm being a little, like, pessimistic. Um, saying I just blew a pawn here. I mean, it looks like I have some compensation. I love it when the chess stream degenerates into a <laughs> degenerates into a discussion on whether we should spend our lives doing drugs or not. What is up with this position here? If knight e5, where is my b6 knight going to c4? I'm a little concerned about this. Somehow I've never had this position in my life, despite having played this opening like a million times. Um, and it seemed like I did everything like normally, like you normally would, but somehow something strange about it. I really like to hold on to my bishop pair in this other game here. Maybe I'll find a way to do that. But... I don't see the way, you know, I just don't see the time element, you know, giving me time to hold on to my bishop pair there. Werenfeld going to a mainline Grunfeld. I call it the mainline, but actually it's not a mainline Grunfeld. Okay, this has got to be mate in a few moves. Should be seven now. And... Yeah, bishop c4 is fine. Okay, guys, I'm not going to commentate as much as I try to kind of bear down um, in the games. And uh, basically, I can get attacked here on the king side. But I'm going to play b4, threatening e5. Sidebot. And in this one, 
well, we're gonna we're gonna play c6 and block our bishop. This game, I was a little bit disappointed with myself for playing bishop f4. Actually, now I've done it, and I guess I have to live with it. Uh, just looks like the bishop was kind of exposed on c4, so I'm not sure I should have done that. So anyway guys, the story is that last week I ran into really big problems with time. And uh, so we're trying to avoid that scenario today. And f4 from killer 3-2, basically looking like trying to kill me there. Now we save our bishop, which could be a very valuable piece. Got a good ending against lambda. Um, now this is this is a scary position against mac and cheese. I mean, basically our two highest rated players have taken up the gauntlet and um, they're really trying to punish us. My knight is in trouble here. If I retreat it to d7, it ends up. Mac and cheese, why is your name so familiar to me? Mac and cheese. You got 2,000 in bullet, 2,284 in blitz, 2,300 in classical. I don't know, your name's kind of familiar. Do you have an account on the internet chess club too, by the same name? If I play knight c4 here, I think I'm gonna like lose a piece down the line. So black probably has to retreat. d7 loses a piece, so I have to play knight c8. And I, I think I'm, I'm in big trouble against mac and cheese. And uh, weird position against pots are 800. I was going to play b5 there. I don't think it's really necessary. The real Lauda, also a food name. It says he's an NM. Chess instructor, who's an NM? NM, I guess, stands for National Master. At least it does in the United States, where I used to reside for three quarters of my life, my very old life. Um, queen a5 now. I hate playing bishop d2 like that. And we're gonna go for long castling against piles of ennui. I don't know how to pronounce that. Piles, piles. Um, try to get the double fee and shadow. In general, if you, have a flexible pawn structure like a modern or Grunfeld hyper modern opening kind of thing. What I recommend is trying to double fee and shadow your bishops. Got made in two. Queen h8, queen g7. Against don't read this. And now seven ingen, seven ingen plays queen a5. I thought he was going to eat this pawn at e4, but um, I guess I have some compensation there. So now he goes with queen a5, which is pretty a pretty weird square to put your queen, but he does have like b5 available to to move his queen to. Queen a5, it's like he's trying to build up for trying to build up for d5 and also it seems like he, he plays knight d7 against virtually anything there. Hmm. He's also controlling the d5 square. So it makes a lot of sense, actually. I have to play bishop g5. That might deter him from taking the pawn on e4. <laughs> Don't read this. All right, we took one, one player out. Don't read this, got mated when the bishop takes h7, sacrifice. And now, um, pots are 800, trying to dial me up with bishop h6 in this game. This looks legitimately dangerous. And he also has a kind of dangerous looking piece on b3. So this setup for white, I, I don't think I really played this right. Kind of weird move order by white, but um, what am I gonna do here? I guess I'm gonna let him play bishop h6. Try to do my best to survive there, guys. Bishop e6. Hitting the c4 pawn. And so we got a couple similar positions where we're, we're fianchettoed in Pierre's type setups, and the other guy's trying to kill us. 
like bishop h6 type of stuff. Those are going to be kind of critical to our survival, I suppose. Didn't I just play this? Didn't I just move? I didn't get my move in. So that happens occasionally, where you like try to make a move, you think you made the move, but the move didn't go through. And uh, a Buddha playing for a tricky mate there. Queen d2, king h7. So the time is starting to go down for us, and not so much for the opponents, you might notice. Um, castling law. And this position looks dangerous for white. Guard, excuse me, guarding e1. Guarding e2. I need to make a retreat square for my bishop there. We're in trouble against mac and cheese. Yeah, who I'm suspicious of is like some strong national master. Um, basically kicking my butt here um, in this opening. Hopefully we can get in c6. That just allows f4, which looks even scarier to me. Um, I'm not going to waste too much time in, in what could be like a lost cause type of position here. I've been ambushed by a very strong player. I'm going to voluntarily retreat my knight to d7. Um, knight d5 from Adrian Chess now. And yeah, I'm not going to like let him take on f4, mess up my pawn structure, I guess. So black playing like the Scandinavian, Grinch 11. But it's not the Scandinavian. It's, it's a queen pawn game. Weird Catalan. And uh, move 11, playing an early queen h5. He's got bishop, bishop b5 check. Um, not a whole lot I can really do about it, I would think. Trying to stay practical, stay fast. There, there are a couple games where I'm in some trouble. Um, the aforementioned masters. Mac and cheese, I, I think is very possibly this Australian guy I've played before on another chess site, the Internet Chess Club. That's my suspicion. Um, the name is awfully familiar to me. So, could be wrong. Knight c6 here, Instagram. Interesting opening, man. I like this modern setup. Not really sure what I'm supposed to do. I guess just play e4 would be interesting. Why don't I play d5 actually? I'm not sure. The bishop on, uh, sorry, the knight on h6 is kind of strange there. Uh, Queen's gambit decline. Generally speaking, I should avoid exchanges of pieces to free black's position. Should be three from Pomkov, where we're comfortable, but I don't really see like what our plan is going forward. C5 looks strong. C5 is okay. Yeah. So that was a tough game. The capture there, I wasn't sure which way to capture. Um, now, pots are 800 with bishop h6. I'm going to change the structure here with e5 now. And 7 again trying to win a piece with bishop c6. But I do have moves here. Um... Maybe not enough moves. I think I have to move the c-pawn forward then, not to lose a piece in this game. c4, bishop takes c4, or c3 is a little safer, I guess. c3 or c4. Otherwise, I'm going to lose a piece. I could throw in a capture on f6. It's also, also an alternative. a3, bishop takes a4, pawn takes b4, queen b6, check. Seems to lose material, so it's either c4 or c3 c4 yeah, I guess we'll go with c4 too much too much discussion on that too much thought put into that one move really for the simul um, alright I'm just praying I can survive against mac and cheese Werenfeld taking his time and playing a6 there I could play a4. Actually, why not?
I can't answer all the comments, guys. Um, but I'll do my best to try to get to some of them. Let's see here. Most of you guys are having some weird conversations about drugs. Uh, I don't know why, but it's always interesting. So here against Pomkov, I had an idea, but I think I missed something. Um, I missed something against Pomkov. I really thought I had come up with this great idea, but um, it appears he has a defense. So I'm not really sure which way to do this. Maybe just like queen c8. We could be in trouble against Pomkov, actually. Queen c6, queen f3. And um, it just doesn't look like it works for me. So I'm just going to play queen c8, get my pawn back, and try to play a position. So small mistake against Pomkov. I didn't see that move. Hopefully we're still OK there. Naturally, the games with black are much more problematic than with white. Here, bishop g4. Grinch with a super bizarre opening. OK, I feel I'm playing this a little too conservatively. Good ending against killer 3-2. I think we have got just enough time this week you know, to really put some pressure on some people. King Kong Hari taking his time. King's Indian attack, another King's Indian attack. And um, I used to play e6 in those positions, but and oftentimes you end up having to play e5 and lose a tempo. Mac and cheese, pretty standard play. Um, I'm in a lot of trouble in this game. Just really big trouble. Hopefully we can survive somehow. I don't know how I'm going to survive, actually. You have to play rook b8 first here. Try to defend my b7. And interesting game. This board, though, bishop f4, a very good move from Blazed Fruits. Well, I don't mind trading darks for bishops too much. It is theoretically my, my good bishop. Okay. Now h3 against Mickey G. He played h6, we played h3. Playing like Peter Leko with white in the strange Sicilian. And Cybot. Cybot looks pretty solid. Cybot not committing to castling on one side or the other there. Well, it looks like he wants to castle queen side, but he's a little bit afraid. He could castle king side as well. We have a decent game against move 11. Um, bishop c5 there in the English could take on e5 as well. I'm going to play bishop g2. So it looks like mac and cheese is the game we're really in trouble in. Scandinavian. Scandinavian. Those words are just too close to one another. Well, I realize that Skevetingen is a Scandinavian name, so it's probably not a coincidence. Um, here, if I go knight b3, let's go knight b3. I'm going to take out killer 3-2. Played a very bizarre setup in the opening against me. In this position, I'm not really sure what to do. This king's Indian. Like, all my moves, all my candidate moves just sort of trade pieces. And I'm not sure, you know, how to make uh, something out of this position per se with a knight on knight on a6 let's just play queen b6 see if we can get some pieces developed all right time starts to play an, a factor now we're down to like 20 some minutes on most boards um, e6 bishop takes here this is going to be a weird uh, situation against abuda it's like threatening to win material on c6 so I think we're going to have to do some very unorthodox and play bishop d7 in this game. I could play queen c7. Let, yeah, let's be sensible here. Do I have to play bishop d7 when I could play queen c7? Then he plays d4. I play e6. Bishop f4, bishop d6. It looks like black is okay. But his queen is extremely annoying there. Um, 
extremely annoying. Bishop d7, knight takes d7, king takes d7, and my king is permanently misplaced. Strange. I have the feeling this is some sort of known line. Mac and cheese. Now my plan was to play queen d7. Try to develop my queen somewhere. It's like a bizarre Grunfeld. Very hard to get the pieces out on that in that board. Speaking of getting the pieces out against Damien. Um, guys are talking about Hearthstone. I never played Hearthstone. One of these days, maybe I'll try it. Um, okay, good ending against Lambda now. We could inflict doubled pawns on him. Isolated doubled pawns. And uh, Pomkov now. Oh, Pomkov. I don't like what you did to my pawn structure, dude. I'm just not really happy about that. I have to be the first to say it. Not happy with what Pomkov did to my pawn structure. What am I going to do there? Queen c6, f3, and like all of his problems are just magically solved. Gotta come up with something against Pomkov. Knight d7. Knight d7. Transferring that piece to the queen side might help out a little bit. And here we got a very good center against Garcia. Picked up a rook. I think if you guys have a totally lost position, um, appreciate it if you guys would resign. Obviously, it's your prerogative to play on. Bishop d4 now for mac and cheese. We've got a couple options. I mean, queen h3. It's kind of like, well, that's sort of inviting um, rook e3. I guess we can live with that. Queen f5 is also possible. Not sure what queen f5 really does. All right, I don't want to spend too much time. Queen f5 or queen h3. A rook d8 is interesting too. Kind of developing the rook. Like a very bad uh, Russian system, Grunfeld kind of position for black. If I could play queen h3, queen h4, knight g4, h5. Queen f5. It's like, probably gets close to getting my queen trapped. Actually, all moves get my queen trapped. Um, okay, against Skeveninga now, we managed to not lose our central pawn. Which was really, I think, the most important step, basically. We'll get our king to a safe haven on h1. I think we have a decent game um, on most boards. It's again, mac and cheese really looks pretty ugly for me. Um, that's my least favorite position we've got here. Now the time factor starts to um, really starts to be. I don't know what I'm thinking here. Um, Time factor really starts to be relevant. E4. Let's go for it. And. Wow. Move 11 got his queen like trapped on h5. And is letting me play now. Knight takes e4. When he has a retreat back to e3. Knight takes e4. Bishop b5 check. Bishop d7. Now, in all lines, I should be fine there, I would think. I don't know if I have better. I mean, it seems like trading pieces should be good for me. So I'm black. Okay, Pomkov. Now, you played h3, which is interesting. I thought you should play at f3 at some point. So that could be kind of beneficial to me. But Pomkov structurally, um, I'm in trouble. His white squared bishop, though. I really want to get the white squared bishop. Interesting game now. Blazed fruits. Just going to castle. And it looks pretty good. White's got some space, but that's a lot of, a lot of consolidation he's got to be doing. Um, knight takes d4. Looks okay here. What's up? Knight b5. 
We're gonna just trade down against Killer three two. And super weird position against Grinch. Guys, we have just enough time now. Last week we were in big trouble time wise. This this game is strange. Um maybe baby trade off bishops with B five bishop A three. Seems like an odd plan for me though. Okay, yeah, Mac and Cheese kinda of going after my queen position there. And I have queen f5. Not sure what my plan is here. As long as we have a retreat square for our queen. Constantine Alex, can I take on e5 here? It looks kind of interesting. Let's see why not. Common theme. I finished my development. So this board, queen e8, is interesting. Queen h5. I'll have problems with knight b5 there. Who's the strongest Turkish player? Well, that would be like Suat Atalik. I believe. There may be a younger player who's better than him by now. I mean, he was for a long time the best. So, I don't know. Can't really keep up with the chat, guys. And now Lambda. Lambda possibly in trouble in that ending. Here I've got a good attack against Enui. Instagram, haven't seen you move for a while. It's a Fianchetto like King's Indian type of position now. So bizarre. How this came about, nobody knows. And Cybot. Cybot, what am I doing here in this game? Just making a weird move like Queen C2, try to play C4 maybe. Mac and Cheese. Bishop e5, squeezing the noose around my neck there. My queen looks very close to getting trapped. He's going to take out my um, take out my pawn on c7. I'm definitely going to be toast against mac and cheese. I'm at least losing a pawn. No, I can go back to d7. Okay, it's, it's not lost immediately, but it's a total fail, um, basically, against mac and cheese. Don't even know what I did wrong in that game. Well, on this one, in this one, actually, I'm taking on d1. And we have a strong center here. I'm this just kick ass center. I like to play like g8, b6, d5. And uh, yeah, Azuaga. What is my plan in this position? I have an interesting move, knight e4 here. Um, he could sack an exchange, even. Knight e4 is sort of turning it into a Dutch type of position. It's kind of interesting. Let's try it. Um, now, bishop g5 there from Abuda. Abuda, I think I had trouble with last week, if I recall. Werenfeld taking his time. All right, guys, gotta gotta move along. ABR, do you have a coach? How much time do you put in chess? Guys, try not to spam the channel. Um, let everybody have a chance to talk there. So it looks like against Pomkov, I'm pretty solid, but he does have a better structure. Um, here, what am I doing now? C4 is not looking so. Um, interesting there anymore. Cybot looking pretty tough. All right, guys, we're gonna try to finish the simul by eight o'clock. So lose quickly, please. Knight g5. Got a raging attack against piles of Anui. It looks like the only way to beat you guys is with a very subtle, um, you know like attack on h7 mac and cheese I'm in bad shape there 
Very bad shape indeed. Mac and Cheese, are you in the in the Twitch stream? Or are you just playing in the simul? I don't see anybody who takes responsibility for being Mac and Cheese. The problem is against Pomkov here, my structure is uh is kind of ill. I like my pieces though. Structure seriously ill in. Um, well, half of me wants to take the bishop on c4, and half of me wants to not take it because my c5 pawn is so weak. Okay, we've got the increment, and blazed fruits now let's take this guy off on f3 i mean it's like fisher curious guys if you want to play the caro khan you must you must study the games played between fisher and curious Kira is taking fisher out in several several games with white in the caro khan um basically Kiris found out that Fisher was so strong on the white side of the Roy Lopez that uh, it's just impossible to play it against the guy. So he went to the Karo Khan and, and had a very good result against Fisher. You should check out my YouTube channel, Video Chess Training. Um, I don't have any Kiris Fisher games there. I have created some for um, for video um, video chess training. Not actually. For chesslecture.com, I did do a series on Kiris, and you can see those videos over there if you join that site. Um, what about this ending here against move 11? He's getting his pawn back. I don't mind. And the bishop pair. Um, things getting worse against mac and cheese now. I'm just sort of like clinging to life here. Okay, time's starting to get uh, kind of grim. Baby Tiger. By the way, I'm a national master. I just played B5 in my game. So Baby Tiger, I guess, is Mac and Cheese. Um, a national master. I'm assuming he's talking about... Because he said B5. Um, he just played B5 in his game. So I'm assuming that Baby Tiger is Mac and Cheese. Did I play you on the Internet Chess Club, why do I think that you're someone from Australia, Mac and Cheese? Can you answer that for me? Why do I have this very strong feeling you're some dude from Australia? Um, yeah, D5, we have this massive center here. Against Garcia. Let's keep the speed up here, guys. Yeah, so Mac and Cheese is uh, crushing me. My queen is like trapped mid board, basically. Well, not trapped. I guess we have queen h3. I guess I should take on c6 first. All right, guys, it's coming down to time, so. We're going to kind of scramble. Scramble as fast as we can now. Relieved that Pomkov, Pomkov took on d5, fixing our structure. And against mac and cheese, I'm just losing material for sure. Queen of 5 gets the queen trap. I have to play queen h3. So now, in this board, we have queen b2, affecting the rook. Well, generally speaking, mac and cheese, you're, you're a little high rated to be playing in the simul. But I don't mind. Um, if I was a GM, it'd still probably be a little high rated, but I guess it would be permissible. Um, but I accept all comers. No discrimination. 
So, yeah, e4. e4 looks powerful here. Not too much time to think, guys. Now, knight d2. I looked at this, and I thought I might play f5. Um, turning it into a kind of Dutch. But I'm having second thoughts about it. I'm not sure. I guess it's good. f5. I think white would have to go to very, like, pretty drastic measure, measures to try to win a pawn there. So last week I had about, I think at this point, <laughs> I had less than five minutes in all my games, more or less. So we're doing a little better than that now. Um, it may look it may look scary, but we definitely are doing better than last week in terms of time. Pomkov here. I don't like the... Ooh, my structure is still kind of questionable here. Pomkov, I'm going to play d4. I do have a protected passer. You do have good blockade. And this board, we have this just killer center. Now that should be winning for black. Guys, thanks for joining me here. We're, we're going to be going for another hour, probably. Um, queen c7. Not happy with these bishops here in this game. They're not doing a whole lot. Finally making a decision for my pawn structure. Bishop takes c3. Smashing white structure there. Take here. Thank you for the forced moves, guys. It really makes life a lot easier when I don't have to think. Thinking is is always a problem. When you're old like me. Um, Blazed Fruits, original play in that game. Should I give up my, my center here? Don't think so. I don't think I like giving up my center. Maybe I should. I do have, I have some tricks. Let's try it. Okay. Um, H6. Now, no good square in the Catalan for this bishop. Maybe F4. Should I hold on to my bishop? Put it on F4. Control the E5 square. Let's go for it. I mean, taking is definitely an option on F6, but it's not very awe-inspiring. Um, now Knight C5 would hang a piece. That's bad. When you start thinking about hanging pieces... You know that something's wrong. Um, put the pawn on the right color there for that structure here. Keeping our structure intact. Thinking about structures. Killer 3 2. You can give it up, man. And I might be able to get my rook in through b6 in Lambda's game. We have f6 against Pomkov with the idea of king f7 kind of covering all the squares. I'm just going to like tell you guys sort of stream of consciousness at this point. Um, yeah, I, I'm not a big fan of playing like closed g3 positions against the king's Indian as I have on that board. I got kind of backdoored in the move order. Uh, with a weird modern move order the guy chose, so I had really no choice to kind of go into it. Here against Skavaningan, we might be able to get a lock on the d5 square. Not really sure it's the best move, though. Um, considerable. But, okay. We can lock down the d5 square. Normally it's a good thing. Now, can I take this pawn? Um, all right, what am I doing here? Let's just take all your pawns. Okay, now, double my rooks. Maybe I should play rook c1. I'd like to get in c4 here, but how? Knight c5 is impossible. Um, my rook is in an awkward place. At the same time, it defends a3, so I don't know what to do there. Maybe knight d2. Yeah, Maybe I should, should have played that earlier. Not getting anything against the e5 pawn there. Um... Uh, knight d5 against Gevinningen, or bishop d5, bishop d5, kind of like classic positional approach. 
And Werenfeld creates this question. I, I prefer taking with a knight and playing bishop e3 there. I'll tell you guys more about that in a minute. When we get to that Benoni position, I was thinking about this structural thing recently. Uh, against, against Adrian Chess now, I am up a pawn. So I don't need to do a whole lot um, of special stuff here. Try to keep it kind of simple, as simple as possible. And against Instagram, we're going to play f4. Keep the structure good. King f7 against Pomkov. Not sure how many boards I have at the moment. I'm just going to take random stuff against Killer 3-2. Try to finish that game out. e6, pawn sacrifices here. Might be interesting. Grinch playing weird game against me. I thought I just got in a move that didn't get in again. It's happening a lot. Actually, these moves that look like they go through, but they don't go through sometimes. If I click off the... Um, oh, my queen is trapped against uh, mac and cheese. Didn't even notice. Um, that's not good. So mac and cheese, I think I can resign. Let's just make sure... Um, yeah, the queen is trapped. Queen h4, rook h3. So I I'm not surprised. Is there any way I could sack anything for it? Not really. Um, okay. So that was that was bad all the way, right out of the opening. Mac and cheese tricked me somehow um, with it. that position I thought was okay for black, but apparently not. Very apparently not. So congratulations, Mac and Cheese. I think you were on the stream there. You crushed me pretty well. Um, not 100% sure what, what what move was my mistake in that game. Abuda. Two knights against two bishops. I love those kind of situations. And now, piles of Anui. To stop the mating threats, he, he allows a very strong fork on e6. Damian. Damian p2. It was a Damian sp. Are you the same player? Get the rook to the center. And here against Cybot, Cybot's starting to bother my C pawn, basically. Okay, focusing on the D5. Square in the Sicilian is a good idea. And watch my king side for things like, um, I don't know, rook FD1? Looks kind of robotic. He sacrifices at H3 in mind there. Queen takes c6. I don't know why Pomkov decided to do that queen e4. And now we have a good position against our other master opponent. Seven in gun. F3 pawn break by Garcia. But he's star for space here. This looks really bad for white. But it's pretty closed. So it's actually kind of difficult for me to make progress. Shouldn't be. Should really be... Um, a very good position for me. We take on e4, take on g3. And that looks... I don't know. I want to play e3 and... Yeah, e3. But then he goes knight g1, knight f1, and... Um, yeah, but this has to be strong for me. He's just too, too spatially crushed there. Okay, guys, we're getting a little low on time. Under 10 minutes now. We have a good game um, against move 11. Very good game positionally. We have bishop e4 at some point. I could even play bishop e4 now, actually. Um, excuse me. Bishop e4 winning a pawn. Now c4, c5. I'm a little concerned about c4, c5 from him. I do have to develop my pieces. Bishop e4, c4. Should I be worried about it? We'll do it next move. Okay. Winning against Pomkov. At least we're a pawn up for nothing. And here, the somewhat bad bishop for white. Finally, he's not. He's not really better in this position. Try to get some pressure on the d4 square. Time getting a little bit low, guys. There's a video about the candidates tournament. What's that? I'm going to go back to, to A1 against Cybot. He's threatening to win a pawn there. Um, reposition myself. And against 
Werenfeld, we've got the structure, structure advantage, time getting very low. How many games do I have going? It feels like a lot of people haven't moved in a long time. Um, there's a whole bunch of games that does seem like they've disappeared or something. Is it just my imagination? Last trick from Killer32. Well, not his last trick, because he can still try to set up a stalemate or something. Um, okay, so... I really, I really want to get my king to safety. I could leave it in the center against Abuda as well. Yeah, rook b8. Got a target on b2 there. So let's keep it moving. Threatening my h4 pawn? You wouldn't take that, would you? Do I really want to do that? Oh, man. Queen g4 is interesting. Too much time. Okay, long time since pots are 8,000 moved. He spent a good long time. I'm going to try to keep that tense uh, with a6. And we're trying to get in c4 against Saibot, but he's not making life too easy for us. But it looks like a reasonable position for black. Don't know exactly what to do on this board. I'd like to do something positive. C4, E4, D4. D4 is an interesting move. It's, it's pretty anti-positional. Um, but it would threaten Knight C5. We kind of mix things up. Let's let's try something a little out of the ordinary. D4. Um, okay. Rook c8 now, switching files. And um, I guess I'm not going to win a pawn on this board. I'm going to go for some something else. King d7, just try to get the king to the center, I guess. How am I going to get my bishop out in that game, guys? So King Kong Harry took forever, and he's still in the opening there. Um, against Werenfeld. We have a massive positional advantage. If pawn takes pawn, we're probably winning material, actually. Here we have a massive positional advantage. Um, rook b6 was the plan. Very, very strong position against uh, Skeveningen. Looks like f6. Knight h5 is, is really tempting as well. Um, but f6, not so easy, actually, if I play f6. Maybe I should just improve the position a little bit first. Better grip on the center with rook d1. Um, yeah, take here. So we've got it under control most games. We lost a tough game, not a tough game. We lost a bad game against mac and cheese. Uh, Scandinavian, I regretted it as soon as I played it. I don't like to play it against really strong players. And I chose to play it against the strongest player in the simul, the highest rated player in the simul. So wasn't the most practical decision. Bishop on e4. Blazed fruits, and creatively, I like to make good knight bad bishop end game against blazed fruits somehow. Here, white has c4 at some point. A bishop might need to go back to c1 to guard the queen side, and we could expect b5 from black here. Damian sp. Um, really sure what my plan is in this position. Knight b3 doesn't look good. Bishop e5. Just make a waiting move. h3. Domin sp, did you play me on the internet chess club as well? That, that name seems familiar. Here, I'm going to take on g5 and open the h file. Um, it's a free pawn, right? I mean, that's a free pawn, Grinch. I understand you got some counterplay, but it's pretty risky. We're getting low on time, guys, so we're going to try to speed up, speed it up a notch. Last week, by the way, I was super tired. I had just played a tournament game, and, um, so this week we're a little fresher. I don't know how much it's going to help things. Trying to put some pressure on whites, whites, blacks center here. But it's kind of awkward. Cybot. 
always a little concerned when people call themselves bot. Um, not, not really, you know, what I like to hear from my opponents. Um, e4 breaking out there. Maybe taking on e5. Getting pretty random against Cybot. Okay, queen g3. Looks like the safer square against Piles of Anui. Hmm. A pot's already 1,000 castles queenside now. And it's going to be an opposite wing situation. So, not sure where I want to be. Um, queen a5 looks a bit awkward, like rather inflexible. So we start pushing the pawns against him with, with a5 there. Okay. Um, bishop pair, very strong. What am I doing now? Centralizing my bishop. And we've got a good game against Constantine Alex. I think Constantine Alex played last week. And I think uh, also there, I like this position for white, really. <sighs> C5. Um, time. Time, guys, is getting really critical here. What about the C file? Just give it in again. You're guarding, um, I can't give you files. I'm gonna guard my <clears throat> stuff there. Knight c4 now from Mickey G. We could play knight d5. Bishop c1 looks passive. Um, taking that knight, I mean, I have to do something about it, and I think taking the knight looks like sound option. And we're not winning material, here we are. Knight takes c5, okay. So we've got a blitz now. Got a blitz. White sacked a piece there. Garcia. And it looks a little scary. Only square for my queen. And let's see now. Queen a5 here. Looks okay. He played g4 with a scary attack on the king's side. b3. Good game against Kevin Ingen. Try to keep it together there. Uh, I can win more material here with bishop d4. I don't know if it's a good thing or not. Um, very solid position against Werenfeld. Pawn up. Protected passer. And Damien, S Damien p2, not Damien sp. Play queen b6 now. Dude. I'm p2, scaring me. Um, if I go bishop b5, you go knight c4. What am I doing again? Yeah, play bishop c1 to protect my my pawn on b2. And that's definitely uh, not a game I'm real happy with. So this one, I'm winning this guy on b2. I don't think white really has enough um, compensation for that. But time, time, time. Okay, bishop takes f4. Just blitz now, guys. We're under five minutes. We do have increment. It's pretty good to have that increment. B5, bishop, b5, knight d4 there. Play a6 or something. Bishop, bishop e4, c4. Looks like a problem. Anyway, I have to go somewhere. Let's think about this. B5, no time, really. Um, B5. B5, B4 is interesting. All right, guys, blitz time. No more thinking, just moving. So now knight C4, interesting move. What can I do here? No thinking, just moving, I say. So I don't take my own advice. So King Kong Harry seems to have a strategy of like waiting till everyone else makes me lose on time. Um, Let's see. Queen d4. Okay, it's blitz time. Now knight d5. We have a really good knight, but I don't mind a good rook as well. I feel like I'm going the wrong way with this. Mm. It's kind of iffy, but I want the d5 for my rook. I wasted time there, I realize. 
with rook c1 and, and against that other move. Now, bishop f5 or something. We don't blunder anything here. I want my knight to go to g8 in this game. Okay. There's no mouse slips. I think I took tape, I set take backs to be on. So in the past, I had them turned off. Um, hopefully that, that setting has been changed. Here I really should simplify. No reason not to trade in that game. Against Cybot, looks like we might be in trouble. Knight g4. Alright, and Werenfeld is toast after bishop takes c5. That was not a good decision. Um, this ending could be a little bit tricky for me. How do I get my pieces like really active? Kill his knight, I guess. Good start. Um, Mickey G playing pretty well. He's on my e4 pawn now. He's like winning material or what? It's up with this game. So I have to play bishop a6 here. Like only move. You play knight d5. But if I play knight d5 right away, b3. What is up with this game? Mickey G. Mickey G. You're 2100 in blitz. 2400 in bullet. You're 2400 in bullet. 2100 in blitz. Wow. Nice that your rating was 1500. I was like, oh, it's a 1500. Um. Mickey G. Knight D5. We're like totally lost against Mickey G now suddenly. Don't even understand what I did wrong there. Um, okay. Very strong player Damian as well. Playing super well. And here we're going to have to be careful. Covering my B pawn. Werenfeld is, as I said, he's in trouble. Um, we may need to protect our king side. <laughs> And finally, I'm going to do something over there. F6 against Kevin Inga. And I think this is winning for me. It's Pomkov. Grab an exchange. So we've got Mickey G. Suddenly, we're like lost there. I didn't have the feeling that we were like lost in that game. But it doesn't look too good. Suddenly. Pomkov, I think, simply lost in the ending. And now we can do g4 against Werenfeld. It's a little risky to do g4, though. We'll just push the pass pawns. Thought here. Take on g7. Open up your king, Skeveninga. And knight d3, a really nasty threat. From, um... Really nasty threat from Cybot, 1855. So, we're in big trouble almost everywhere. Werenfeld, a regular player from our daily stream. Guys, check it out Monday to Friday. What did I do? Hang a piece or something? No. This game, some of the games when I don't see the move for a long time, um, I do have trouble in those situations. Uh, I've got to be a little careful against Abuda. I know it's pretty tricky. Uh, this one we have a lock on the on the center. All right, let's keep it fast. Uh, B three there, Bishop F five, or just D five. I guess I have to do D five against Azuaga. That was my plan. I could play Bishop F five and sack a pawn. I think d5 looks fine. Now knight g8. So we've got plans in some positions that I can kind of play by rehearsed move, if you will. 
Um, click. I'm okay here. Should E4 check. That ending should be winning for me. And this one is, uh, this one's looking pretty critical. Passer 8000 with a strong attack. Damian. You're not pinning anything there, though. What are you trying to do to me? Um, Damian. Basically scaring me, dude. We're in time trouble. Whoa, some of the games are getting really low now. Um, didn't think this would happen, man. So, again... What? You're giving me... Oh, that rook on f8 is with check, man. So now d3. Blaze, fruits. And... Wow. Please, fruits. I don't really want to trade queens right here. Oh, you're tricking me, Wernfeld. How did my king get on h2? I forgot about that. Abuda, not gonna, not gonna survive there with that piece um, placement. Yeah, queen h5. I'm better against Skavaningen, but I don't know if it's enough. I basically have to move instantly. Cybot with 30 minutes left. It's not enough that he's like crushing me. He crushed me using no time. Uh, okay, Werenfeld. And now here we have a problem with the e4 pawn. Against Kogel also taking his time, which I appreciate. So taking that guy, what am I doing here? I guess I'm taking back with the queen. And we got bishop to d6. Constantine Alex also uses his fair share of time. Is my queen trapped on, on d7? Is that the trick here? Are you kidding me? Queen is like trapped on d7. It's unbelievable. Damian. Okay, now king e4. We're winning against Pomkov. Knight h6 there. This looks pretty promising. I think we can win a piece against Instagram. Um, why did I put my rook on d1? Okay, and... How many boards do I have left anyway, guys? There's a few secret boards. Kogel just hanging in there with a solid position. I bought. Okay, take that rook. 30 second increments hopefully will be enough to save me. In this position, um, yeah, we're going to simplify. Finally, take that bishop. He's been trying to sell me that bishop the whole game, basically. And my queen is possible to get my queen in the game here. Check. Ah, Buddha, what are you doing, man? You're not allowed to castle. You are not allowed to castle, my friend. Let's try rook g8. And here I have knight h4. Still not winning a piece? I think I'm winning a piece there. f2. And I don't know, Damien, you kind of, you're kind of scary, dude. Um, man, I get a pawn there? Okay, f6, fine, fine. So most of you guys are too busy um, 
to kill me right now. Keeping most of you busy on the clock. You're on my knight now. We have queen g4, queen h5 as well. Too much time in that move. Offer a draw to bra blazed fruits. Blazed fruits. I just. If you guys have a totally lost position with 47 minutes on the clock, do appreciate if you resign. not my move or what b6 I let this attack go too far on the king side oh, I hung my queen good good okay that's a good game the times finally getting to me hung my queen nice good game me um, Yeah, we didn't want to hang our queen, really. Wasn't part of the plan. Um, what's up with this board? What am I doing? All right. We did not want to hang our queen, guys. Just not cool. I don't know. Lambda can't, I mean, Abuda can't castle. He's got to be lost there. Yeah. Okay, I should just resign against pots are 8,000, 2,100. I, I hung a queen. Um, that's pretty unfortunate. He had a strong attack on the way, so I kind of panicked. Um, that's most unfortunate. Instagram down a piece. And here, um, well, what am I doing in this game? Cybot playing pretty well for an 1800. Um, this one, bishop e4. We're in an ending now against lambda. Okay, dude, I'm going to resign this. Good game, pots are 8000. Just blundered my queen there. It's pretty sick. Now what? Well, Adrian Chess now. I don't really like offering draws, in case you guys didn't notice. Nobody likes resigning against me for some reason. I don't know what it is. You guys just don't like to resign. I understand. Mickey G. Shape three from Azuaga. He's playing like a positional god there. Um, here. Not sure what I'm doing against Skevening again. I really I can't believe I'm losing some of these games on time. OK, 
Okay. Now a6. We have a check. Offer the draw there. One game. I don't know if the draw result, I mean the draw offer will stick or not. Um, guys, when I offer draw and make a move, there's one really weird feature I don't like about uh, Lee Chess that I've noticed that you can offer a draw and take back the draw offer. By the way, um, that's totally bogus. So I don't know who thought of that idea, but that's that's crazy. Um, nobody offers draws and then takes them back in this world. Basically, Adrian Chess scaring the crap out of me there. All right. I don't know. We'll play e4, d5. Take a draw. Time down against Cybot. He played a really tough game. Um, I'm going to offer a draw against him too. I think we're in trouble against that game on time. Mickey G, we're hanging on. Uh, I didn't like the opening. And we got a couple players. King Kong Harry is trying to use up all his time. Basically. There is a check for white there. Um, yeah, my king is pretty weird here. We have just enough time to kind of hang on, guys. We have a couple blunders. We did have a couple blunders. Looks like um, this one, I don't know. Rook f2 or something. Blockade strategy. Azuaga playing really well, though. He's a 2100. I didn't notice how high his rating was. Played the opening kind of passively. But um, pretty tough player. Uh, the Azawaga's passive setup sort of lulled me to sleep, but he's positionally pretty strong. Guys, did I just lose on time on 10 boards or something? Why is nobody moving? Okay. I was scared I lost on time on 10 boards. There was a very long pause there. And looks like we are winning against move 11. If I didn't misevaluate the position. We're up a pawn anyway. I mean, it looks pretty good. Here against Konstantinos. He's going to play, I don't know what next. Um, we have a sort of similar game as... Same game that we played on the other board, basically. A close Sicilian type of position. Now, an ending against Kogel. Um, I'm slightly worse. Here, I don't know. I guess the, the A rook. <sighs> D5. Do I want to play D5? Or what do I want to do here? Uh, just something quick. And, um... Well, Abuda's in big trouble here, basically. If I play A5 on that board... I'm not going to do that. Oh, I just hung a pawn against King Kong Harry. Yuck. Anyway, we're going to hang on. It's a sacrifice, guys. Sometimes when you lose a pawn, it's not hanging a pawn. It's a sacrifice. That's what happened against King Kong Harry there. Uh, I didn't lose a pawn. I just gave him a pawn. It's all how you look at it. Okay. Yeah, but this is a sacrifice, man. Obviously. Um, good control to center. That's crazy. Okay. My rook is hanging. Let's not do crazy things. Just take a second to make sure that we're not like hanging something before we make a move. So whenever Constantine Alex's turn, everyone takes forever. Such a luxury to be able to drink a little bit of coffee during my game. I should offer a draw to Kogel though. I feel like I'm a tiny bit worse in that game. Uh, C6 here. Rather than king c6. Might be better. So there's this really scary move. Um, bishop e3. What am I supposed to do about that? Like rook f3. Knight e4, of course, is an option. Or not. Huh. 
Ah, uh, well. Kind of coming apart in time pressure here, guys. Like A4 against Mikey G's bishop. He's on that pawn. He's also got um, his bishop E6 might be better than defending it with the pawn. Queen F4. Queen F4. I was thinking about Rook G4 here, taking the initiative against Abuda. Damien SP. Okay. I'm going to offer a draw there. It's Damien SP. I'm up a pawn, but I'm pretty in trouble strategically. Hung a piece here against uh, Instagram, which is always good. Well, that wasn't the rook I tried to sacrifice, um, honestly. Tried to sacrifice the other rook in that game. Some unbelievable stuff going on. Damien SP, what is up with this? D5. I don't know. I don't know. I let that game get out of control as well. All kinds of weird counterplay for everybody. Knight takes g2, king takes g2, and Abuda just confusing the hell out of me basically. I was like, hmm, I'm trying to sacrifice a rook against him. Next thing I know, um, he's taking the other rook. It's like, wow, dude, where do you come up with this stuff? My king. Okay, bishop c3, knight b5, but I've got rook c8 here against Azuaga, so sort of hanging on. Mickey G just trapped a piece. Come on, dude. Holy crap. It's like unbelievable. I just lost a whole piece. That's good. Okay. Winning against Grinch, um, this ending here is problematic now. <sighs> Kogel. Domin SP doesn't want to doesn't want to draw a pawn down. Okay, I understand, dude. The important thing is to win on time. Um, now. Knight h4. Okay, King Kong Harry's in time pressure now. I think we're still winning against Adrian Chess now, but we're about to lose on time, so let's make it. Let's play as fast as we can here. Maybe two. Bishop d7 now. So somehow time still ends up being a problem. Okay, Damien. Got the really sick time pressure. And looks bad. Most boards look bad here. Most of the remaining boards. I'm lost against Mickey G. I should just resign there. Just thought I'd play a few more moves. I'm lost here too. Um, the time, time just got totally out of control. Great. Okay. So. We're still winning on a few boards. Abuda. Lost against Kogel too. A lot of games that I shouldn't have lost uh, are just disintegrating because of the clock. But I just can't afford to um, to make the simul any longer than this, guys. So 
we'll just do the best we can with what we got. Um, yeah, we're lost against Kogel too. I can just resign there. And not against uh, Adrian Chess now. He's he's lost against me. He should be, anyway. He might have some tricks left. Just down a piece here. So, another master takes me out. All right. That was kind of a tough game. Instagram, I'm like getting mated against, which is good. Can get our knight to d6 maybe against Grinch. Not sure what's going on against Damian here. He's got a rook on the seventh, threatening rook on the seventh. Um, I don't really see winning move for black though. Bishop takes. I'm finally winning against the Buddha for a very, very scary game. And here is hopeless. A couple more moves there. King Kong, we blundered a pawn. Um, basically. All right now he's got Queen H3 check and A4. I'm not so worried about a4 actually. Actually, maybe I should be a4. But he's got this queen h3 check. It's pretty nasty. Um, Adrian Chess now playing horribly in the opening, but coming back at this point now um, pretty seriously. Good compensation. And then I have knight d2 here. It's pretty weird. Trading rook for rook, maybe. What I just blundered, I'm not sure. Against Instagram, something was hanging on g5. And I guess I'm just lost against Kogel. In a game that was pretty equal, I'm going to have to resign there. We lost at least three so far. Um, King Kong Harry. Now this position has got to be really good for me. Azuaga. Positional player. Just kind of trying to hang on. I mean we are in this case. So the time got pretty out of control. We've got 15 minutes left. See if we can do it. I don't know how many games are left, guys. How much, um, how many, uh, Eric Hansen is a babe. I need practice. Are you guys talking about me needing practice, I hope? Because it's pretty clear that I do need more practice. Um, how many rooks am I down in this position? Just an exchange? Feels like more. There's some games that I... Oh, I'm blundering now. Good, good. Good. So Azuaga got me too. That'll be like, what, six losses or something? Losing a pawn there at least. Perfect positional play by Azuaga. Another pawn against Hari. Constantine Alex... He's in trouble, but I'm sure I'll find a way to uh, to lose this. Whew, Grinch, good defense, man. Looks hopeless, but he's just making it work. Um, D5. Just not working for me. There is Queen A3. Should be, should be good for me. Ultimately, b3. Now, Azuaga, good positional player, as I said. He had better there. King Kong Harry. 
is positionally dying here. But I do a bishop h6. Could at least like trade off a bad piece. Dangerous situation. Better against move eleven. Um what is up with this? Bishop e7. Yeah, he's got so many tricks. Um, Adrian Chess now, just with constant tricks to stay in the game. What a position this is for Constantine Alex. Now, rookie two check from Instagram. Also, like, mating me. Basically losing on all boards, it looks like. Instagram had a very dubious position earlier. And uh, I don't know what I did. Hung a piece at some point. Pawn takes. Just not enough time, guys. No matter how much time I get, it's not enough. Doesn't seem to matter. Um... Yeah, knight b4 now. Hanging on against Azuaga. Adrian Chess now. I'm up a clear pawn there. But I guess it's not enough. Losing my pawn back against Damian. Looks like we're almost made it here. Grinch 11. Okay. Constantine Alex. And how did we get so low on time? Didn't even talk very much during these games. And I'm trying to hang on here against um, this looks defendable it's Damian Bishop there and I don't know where to go H, h5 I guess we're better against move 11 takes that guy hanging on against King Kong Harry g5 now right. I don't want that queen in my position and um, e6 E6 looks good. Grinch is hanging on. He's down a pawn, but uh, with a bad king, but he's not going anywhere. So, guys, we got to finish it up. We are going to probably resign this game against somebody here. No move, right? We're going to resign this one. We lost at least four games, if I count correctly. Um, 86 check. We have Rook takes h2 against King Kong Harry. Some counterplay there, thankfully. It's amazing I can't get anybody's king. Um, I can't get anywhere close to anybody's king in any of these games. It's amazing you guys are like... <laughs> it is impossible to touch your kings. Wow, just incredible. Is my queen trapped yet there? Um, B5. Oh. All right. A queen B5. Speaking of kings, Adrian Chess now offered me a draw. I'll take a draw against Azuaga. I think you're better there, Azuaga. I guess it's kind of close, but I, I don't want to get my queen trapped here. So guys, if I win the simul, I'm happy, basically. Um, it's progress. I think I can hold a draw against Damian SP if I'm not playing 20 people at the same time. And here, don't have any mate. Close to mate.
Interesting defense from move 11. Who's hanging on there? I don't see a way to win against King Kong Harry here. It's probably equal. Now how am I going to make progress against uh, Damian? I'll for a draw to Grinch where I'm I'm better, but honestly, playing too many games at the same time, it's very tough. Um, yeah. We've got to go in like seven minutes. So if I'm not clearly winning, I'll probably offer a draw. We have... What did I just do? Let's go back and try to get back to the simul. All right. Guys, thank you in advance. I'm going to close it down as soon as these games are over. But thanks in advance for coming and playing. Okay, bishop d4 check. Got a good king against move 11. How many boards do I have left, guys? I already won. Um, I was in trouble on so many boards. We had good openings for the most part, except against mac and cheese. But uh, the time pressure, I'm playing very positional chess. Um, you know, it's it's not easy to win quickly in the style with the style that I'm playing basically um, it's grind it's a grinding style and uh, against dummy and I'll probably offer a draw there that looks equal but anyway we have to suggest to Lee chess that uh, we don't um, we don't like this taking draws back concept no chess tournament in the world. Thanks for the game, Damian. Um, you had really good, really good play there. Maybe almost winning. Where's the rest of my simul? I must have games remaining against move 11, right? Adrian chess now move 11. Okay. So those are the only two guys. Um, I'm slightly better against move 11 who's in time pressure. And we're playing for mate against our other customer. Playing for mate here. It's Adrian Chess now. We have a winning position. You know what, guys? I just thought <laughs> I had a very strange hallucination that that is a rook. That I have a rook um, on the board there on a one against Adrian Chess now. So Artyom said no. Artikom says I have ten and seven and five. So I already won. Um, Dragon Phoenix Slayer said he won. So you were one of the winners, Dragon Phoenix Slayer. Um, I'm going to offer a draw here. It looks kind of hard to make progress against move 11. I'm better, but um, I'm going to be generous with that one. Ops color bishops, it's going to be a real job to win that. Go for the win against Adrian Chess. Now, I feel I'm up too many pawns to offer a draw. What am I up? I'm just up one pawn. Well, I... He's going to feel cheated. Feels like I'm up to more than one pawn against Adrian Chess now. It's not an obscular bishop. Playing for a win here. But time wise, I still feel pressured in this one. And I thought I'll try a trick here. I'll try to trap his bishop with g4. It also gives my queen a retreat square back to g3. It's so much easier to talk about one game, you know, when you're not playing like 20 games. Um, hanging too many pieces, though, most of the time. Here, we have winning position, basically. So, what if you misclick the draw button? Constantine said he already made a a post about that the draw thing yeah that's really weird um, I just 
can't imagine, you know, this this thing about oh, what did I do? I pre-moved. I pre-moved. I just pre-moved. Um Yeah, I don't know why Lee Chess would do that, you know. I was shocked the other day. It was the first time that someone tried to like uh withdraw a draw offer against me. It's like you offer a draw, then you're like, oh my god, I'm winning a piece. Wait, I take it back. You know? Um <laughs> That's just crazy. Anyway, now how am I winning this one? King on h6. How can I get it as king? The knight, right? Am I getting mated anywhere? Let's see. Nope, we're not getting mated anywhere. Everything's protected. If someone over the, beat, over the board offers a draw and you decline, are you allowed to accept it? No, I mean, that's it. You know, it's on the move. You offer a draw. It's it's like you know you're bonded to that draw for for that move, and um, and it's distracting from the other player. Like when you offer a draw, that's why the rule is that you're not supposed to offer a draw on your time. You're supposed to offer a draw on. Um, I mean, you're supposed to offer a draw on your time, not on your opponent's time. So that's really really unbelievable um, confusion of the rules there. Oh, we finally got him. Adrian Chess now. Wow, we got it. Okay, we finished the simul, guys. We have 11 wins, 9 draws. I got a little crazy with the draw first because I have to go, but mostly I didn't just hand out draws randomly. Um, we lost a bunch of games to Mikey G. We lost to Mac and Cheese, both masters. Um, we lost to Potter 8000 in the game. I, I hung my queen. Uh, that was pretty silly. And um, we lost to Kogel in a game where I let the clock get down too far. So I think that's it, right? Uh, is that everybody? I think that's it. Did I forget somebody? Um, are these in order? Yeah, I think that's it. Those are in order of rating, maybe, my opponents. Potzer 8000 rated 2105. I didn't realize you were that high rated. You put Potzer, it's so deceptive. Anyway, guys, thanks for the simul. Um, you play as Blaze Fruits. Only have one minute. I was first to accept a draw. Thanks, anyway, guys. Um, we'll try to to uh, maybe modify the time control a tiny bit next time, but the starting time will be the same 545 or 1745 Central European time next week, guys. Thanks for joining us, and um, we will be back next week. And see my weekly uh, chess stream here from 10 a.m. Central European time during the weekdays. Please check out my YouTube channel, Video Chess Training on YouTube. And um, that's it. So we'll see you guys later. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.